In this video, we're going to learn about function notation. Here we have a function machine, where you take an input and it generates an output. For example, if our input was 7, we'd take 7, times it by 2 to get 14, add 5 to get 19, and that would be our output. So if 7 was the input, 19 is the output. Now what about if our input was algebraic? What if it was x? So if the input is x, you times that by 2 first to get 2x, and then you add 5, so 2x plus 5. So when the input is x, the output is 2x plus 5. This could be written down instead using function notation. We would first of all write f and then some brackets. Inside the brackets we'd place our input, which is x. On the right hand side we'd write 2x plus 5, because that's the output. This is how you would write down this function machine using function notation. The left hand side, f brackets x, we usually pronounce as f of x, which just means there's a function of x. It shouldn't be confused with f times x. There are brackets there, but that's not what it means in this case, it's just a way of writing down a function of x. If we now go back to the numerical example, where the input was 7 and the output was 19, we can write this down with function notation as well. We would write f, but make the input 7 rather than x this time. The output can be generated using 2x plus 5. All we need to do is replace all of the x's with 7's, so it's 2 lots of 7 plus 5. 2 7's are 14, and if you add 5, you get 19, which we knew as our output. Now let's try some questions. So here we've been given a different function, f of x equals 3x minus 1, and first of all we need to calculate f of 2. To do this, we'll write down the function's output again, but instead of x's, write down brackets. So not 3x minus 1, 3 bracket minus 1. Inside the bracket, we then just put the input. The input was 2, so we'll place a 2 inside the bracket. So it's 3 times 2, which is 6, and then minus 1. 6 minus 1 is 5. Now let's try f of 8. So again, we'll write down 3x minus 1, but change the x's to brackets, so 3 bracket minus 1. And take the input, which is 8, and put that inside the bracket. So 3 8's are 24, and then minus 1. 24 minus 1 is 23. And then the final question, f of negative 4. So we'll write down the output again, 3x minus 1, but change the x's to brackets. So 3 bracket minus 1, and inside the bracket we'll put that negative 4. So we have 3 times negative 4, which is negative 12, and then take away 1. Negative 12 take away 1 is negative 13. Let's try a different one. This time we have a function g of x, so it isn't always f that's used. We often use f, then usually g, and then h, and so on. g of x equals x cubed plus 5x. Calculate g of 2. Now I notice this time there are two x's in my output. So I'm going to write the output again, but each of the x's is going to be replaced by a bracket. So it's x cubed plus 5x, so I'll write bracket cubed plus 5 bracket. Then inside each of the brackets I write the input, which is 2. We then calculate this, so we've got 2 cubed first, that's 8, and then 5 times 2, so it's plus 10. 8 add 10 is 18. We'll do similar with the next one. So g of 5 this time, we'll write the same output down, bracket cubed plus 5 bracket, and then input 5. So 5 cubed is 5 times 5 times 5, 125, and 5 times 5 is 25. Add these together and we get 150. And for the final one, we've got g of negative 3. So we'll write bracket cubed plus 5 bracket again, and then replace those brackets with negative 3s. Negative 3 cubed is negative 3 times itself times itself again, which gives you negative 27, and a positive 5 times a negative 3 is negative 15. So negative 27 take 15 is negative 42. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out what I think you should watch next, and also subscribe so you don't miss out on future uploads.